What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're talking about silver. Can it hit $1,000 an ounce? So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, so we're talking about silver. Can it hit $1,000 an ounce? That seems uh, pretty outlandish because right now the price of silver is right around $25 an ounce. But there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on recently in the stock market. There are some things that could happen to silver to push it much, much higher. So we're going to talk about those. But first, I want to talk about yesterday. There was some crazy stuff that went on. I received this email early in the morning from Bullion Exchanges. Hey, don't let GameStop take the spotlight. Gold is down $20. Silver dropped almost a dollar. Buy the dip now. And I was like, what? Silver price hasn't even really changed. So I went over to Kitco Metals and I saw this. Boom, silver did drop a big amount, which triggered the email from Bullion Exchanges, but then it bounced right back. I had to investigate further, so I went over to GameStop to see what was going on there. Now, this is what I saw when I looked at the share prices for GameStop over the last week. They were up and they were up big. In fact, right at the moment I got the email, they were up considerably. Uh, for the whole week, they're up $332, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, why were they up? Was there something illegal going on or were people just flooding to GameStop because they wanted to invest in this gaming company? <laughs> I'll tell you, that is not the case. The subreddit Wall Street Bets is effectively to blame for causing this price to go up so dramatically. This is basically just a group of people here on Reddit, uh, and they got together, bought a whole bunch of out-of-the-money call options, and this created a short squeeze, which drove the stock price up. Now, maybe some of them made an incredible amount of money off of this, but there are some people out there who lost a bunch of money off of this as well. And, you know, that's the risk you take when you go short. Wall Street Bets gained a massive amount of followers because of this, but that wasn't the only consequence. Here's a broad look at the market. We can see Dow Jones Industrial Average down 633 points, the NASDAQ down 355 points. Uh, the list goes on. In fact, the only thing up right here is the US dollar index, uh, but it's basically flat on the day. Here's a text I got from one of my high school buddies. I just had to include this. He says, so I've only ever owned one stock in my whole life, GameStop. Got it for $5 and sold it today for $369. That is super awesome. I was actually thinking about buying GameStop last March. I elected to buy some of the cruise lines, some of the airlines. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. We can't win them all, right? This was posted on Wall Street Bets yesterday by JJ Ala J30, the biggest short squeeze in the world. SLV $25 to $1,000. And this is what prompted me to make this video. Now he goes on to say, silver bullion market is one of the most manipulated on earth. Any short squeeze in silver paper shorts would be epic. We know billion banks are manipulating gold and silver to cover real inflation. Both the industrial case and monetary case, debt printing has never been more favorable for the number one inflation hedge, silver. Inflation adjusted silver should be at $1,000 instead of $25. Link to post removed by mods. Okay, uh, why not squeeze SLV to real physical price? Think about the gains. If you don't care about the gains, think about the banks like JP Morgan you'd be destroying along the way. Now, do I think a bunch of people from Wall Street Bets are going to try and short squeeze SLV and cause the silver price to explode tomorrow? Uh, no, probably not. I don't think the price of silver is going to be manipulated up in that way, but it has been manipulated before by the futures market. And shouldn't silver be at $1,000? anyway because it's just so undervalued it's such a great hedge uh maybe we're gonna get to that but first i want to talk about the hunt brothers it all started with hl hunt a billionaire and texas oil tycoon who died on november 29th 
1974, and he left his fortune to his three sons, the Hunt brothers. Here they are, Nelson, William, and Lamar. Nelson's my favorite because we share a birthday, but I digress. They were buying silver, massive amounts of silver. From the 1970s up until 1980, they were trying to buy as much silver as they could. They were buying silver on the futures market, and instead of canceling their futures contracts, they were taking delivery. Some people think they were trying to corner the silver market. Others think they just wanted to buy silver because they saw it as a hedge against the dollar and they knew that the dollar was failing. It's kind of interesting. They actually weren't even able to buy gold until 1975 because it was illegal to buy gold from 1933 till 1975. So maybe that's why they were going all in on silver. I'm not sure. But either way, they drove the silver price up significantly. This is a 50-year chart for the price of silver. As you can see, back in the 70s, it was around $5 an ounce. And in 1980, they drove it up to $50 an ounce. But just as fast as it went up, it began to crash back down. Now, it is estimated that the Hunt brothers at one point owned about one-third of the world's supply of silver, except for what governments were holding, which is crazy to think about. In fact, after this whole ordeal, they changed some of the laws regarding how many futures contracts you can buy, how much you can buy on margin, things like that, to prevent this sort of thing from happening in the future. But this is still a very important piece of history. And if we're talking about silver ever reaching $1,000 in the future, we definitely need to talk about this event. Now, I know I've been bouncing around a bunch in this video, but I want to hone in on $1,000 silver. Is it possible? And is it possible to see that in our lifetimes? Well, as we've shown in this video, there is some potential manipulation that can occur. I know a lot of people, when they think about silver, they think about it actually being manipulated down. It seems like if silver was cheaper, then a lot of these big companies that need silver for their products will have less expensive products, right? So it sort of makes sense that the big industry would want to manipulate silver prices lower. But what about manipulating silver prices higher? Well, the futures market is not going to be the way to do it. Now, what about Wall Street bets? Are they going to be able to manipulate the price of silver much higher? I don't know. In fact, I kind of doubt it. And I sort of wonder why they would even try, because when it comes to capital gains tax, you actually have to pay more capital gains tax if you make a lot of money off of an ETF, such as SLV, compared to individual stocks, so I don't even think it would be in their best interest. Now, I honestly think that if silver were to go to $1,000 an ounce, it would be caused by the collapse of the US dollar. And what would that mean? Well, that would mean that basically life as we know it would be over. Stuff would be incredibly expensive. We would be going into hyperinflation. I mean, there'd be blood in the streets. There would be uh, an incredible need for food, shelter. It would be very scary times. The U.S. government would basically be in shambles. They'd have to create a new currency or use some sort of alternative currency. That alternative currency could be silver. It could be gold. It could be a cryptocurrency or it could be an all new currency, some sort of digital one that the government comes up with. I don't know what it would look like, but I know that it would be very scary. And honestly, I hope I don't see $1,000 silver in my lifetime. I'm very happy with $25 silver and the potential for silver to go up to maybe $50 or $100 an ounce this year or next year or over the next few years. Now, I am very curious to hear your opinion about everything that is going on in the markets right now and also about the potential for $1,000 silver do you think it will happen do you think it will happen in our lifetimes that's really the big question right because i think ultimately the u.s dollar will collapse silver will hit a thousand dollars ten thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars whatever you know when the dollar is finally dead but uh ultimately that could take a very long time so please feel free to leave a comment down below with your opinion on the subject and i want to say a massive thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one silver dragons
out.